Uh, to the Ben Washington family, we are so excited. You know, uh, 2020 has actually been a very challenging year, uh, particularly for those who for 12 years have labored uh, to get through high school and uh, some, of the, some of the traditional things of high school, they've missed out on. Uh, they've missed out on prom and they've had to adjust their graduation. But one of the things that, that is still consistent here at Ben Washington is that we like to recognize our seniors and to also applaud them as they make preparation for their future. So at this time we have uh, Sherry Sutton, who is the chairperson for our scholarship ministry. She's going to come forth and she's going to have some very exciting news for some of our seniors. Thank you, Pastor. Um, today we had our judging for the Early May Wheeler oratorical essay uh, contest. We had two participants who were seniors that were graduating this um, that will be graduating you know, in the near future with their ceremonies. But today we wanted to make sure that they did their essays with the judges. We had uh, some judges that were present, present. And so what we're gonna do, we are going to first tell you about the Early May Wheeler Scholarship. The Early May Wheeler Scholarship is one, um, and she was a member of our church. She was the first uh, African-American school teacher and was a devoted uh, member of Ben Washington Baptist Church. She's actually the aunt of our very own Derek Collins. She taught her students to excel in reading, writing, and at that time it was called arithmetic. To think creatively and to hold steadfast to their morals and principles. A tribute to Miss Wheeler is uh, she has a picture hung into at the uh, Wheeler Transition Center, and her picture is hanging also in the Irving High School, and she was one of the first black teachers in the Irving School District. So, we have scholarships, and we have a first place and a second place winner. Our first place winner is Jalen Williams. Yay. Our second place winner is Julian Young. The first place winner's uh, scholarship amount is $600, and the second place amount is $400. We want to make sure that we congratulate our seniors, and we want to make sure that we keep encouraging them as they matriculate in their studies in the future. Thanks. Congratulations to both young men for an outstanding job. Now keep your distance now. Uh, congratulations and God bless you as you uh, leave high school and, and make your way into the world. Amen. So God bless you is our prayer. And thank, thank the ministry, uh, scholarship ministry for, the, for all of your efforts. So thank you. And uh, we have one more senior who's also graduated. We want to make sure that he gets recognized too. Can we bring him in? Thank you, Pastor. We also have Raheem, Raheem Rogers, and Raheem will, will be a recipient of the Gerard Shepherd Scholarship. So we have Raheem Rogers, he will receive the Gerard Shepherd Scholarship. We have Julian Young, he will also receive the Gerard Shepherd Scholarship. And we have Jalen Williams, and he will receive the Gerard Shepherd Scholarship. Show me the money. All right, all right. Well, God bless you. And to all of our uh, 2020 graduates, 2020, a year to remember. God bless you. Amen. Congratulations to Raheem, Julian, and Jalen. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ben Washington Baptist Church, friends and family celebrate three young, faithful, smart, intelligent, creative, and aspiring young men who have met the requirements to be part of the graduating class of 2020. Our hats off to you. They are Raheem Rogers Jr. My name is Raheem Rogers and I'm a 2020 MacArthur graduate. Jalen Williams. Hello, my name is Jalen Williams. I am a 2020 graduate from MacArthur High School. And Julian Young. My name is Julian Young. I will be graduating from James Bowie High School. And now, Raheem Rogers Jr. graduating from MacArthur High School in Irving, Texas. His school involvement, AP student KMAC anchor. His future goals, 
I plan to attend college, University of North Texas, and study film and photography. I plan to be a videographer or photographer. His involvement at BWBC with the youth department, the choir, boys to men, community service. He says, my experience at BWBC has been wonderful. I felt loved since day one. Today I will be reading my JRS scholarship essay on how being a Christian has shaped my life. Being a Christian has shaped my life for the better and completely changed my mindset and perspective on life. Being an active member of Ben Washington Baptist Church has taught me many valuable lessons in life, some that I might not have learned until later in life, some I may not have learned at all. I am and will always be grateful for that. One of the main things being a Christian has taught me is how to make peace with my past and focus on the present. It has taught me not to compare my life with others because everyone's journey is different. I now feel like time heals everything. And most importantly, no matter how good or bad a situation is, it will always change. Being a Christian at BWBC has given me the opportunity to make so many new friends and meet many new people. It has sort of given me another family. You see, when I moved to Irving from New Orleans in my freshman year, everyone at BWBC has shown me so much love. Since the first day, everyone made me feel accepted. Being at BWBC with Grammy has made me more active in my community. I started delivering meals to the needy on holidays with Meals on Wheels. I really didn't like get up that early in the morning, but as I started doing it, I liked it, or I got used to it. I did it only because I was made to do it, but then I liked doing it. I also liked coming every second Sunday. I, I enjoyed seeing my new friends. I started participating in the plays at church. My two favorites were the Easter and Christmas plays. To be honest, I did not know a lot about church or the Bible, but after I participated in the plays, it opened my eyes and really helped me learn more about God. You see, before I moved to Irving, I did not go to church often. I never really had a strong relationship with God or the church. We would only go on holidays like Easter. It was a big change to come from only going to church a couple times a year to now going every weekend. The first time I was casting the play, I was kind of nervous and shy, but as I continued to learn my parts in the play, it started to help me to learn more about God and the church in general. Overall, being a Christian has had such a positive impact on my life. My goal is to not only live my faith, but to make those around me proud of who I am. When I say, who I am, what I am really saying is how I treat people. But not only my family, I want everybody to see who I am and my faith and not just what I say. My dad, my auntie, and my grandma have set great examples for me. I want them to know that I can do it, I can live it. Thank you, Raheem Rogers. Jalen Williams, a graduate of MacArthur High School, Irving, Texas. His school involvement, AB Honor Roll, 3.2 GPA, Varsity football and track. Homecoming court prints for three years. Irving Teen Court. Irving Spirited Youth Award. Awarded the Aiken Adelie Scholarship. His future goals. I plan to attend college at the University of North Texas. I plan to major in business. His involvement at BWBC. The youth department. The choir. Boys to men. Gatekeepers. Drama and mind ministry. And also Bible study. The title of my essay is How Being a Christian Has Saved My Life. Being a Christian has shaped my life tremendously. It has taught me many things. How to trust God and have faith in whatever I go through and to, to know that I'm not alone. I am very blessed and thankful to be in this position in my life where I have the most support behind me and I know that if it weren't for God, I wouldn't be here today. When I was younger, my grandparents, Tony and Lanita Johnson, would bring me to church every Sunday. I would sing in the choir, do plays, which were always fun and I always dance on the mime team. Thanks to Cecilia before her, Sister Tia, before her, I would never think about dancing. I always ushered and just tried to help the church in any way that I could. I just wanted to be involved and be active. Being at BWBC was like the perfect church for me because every time I went, there was always love and encouragement. There was never a dull moment. I remember during our youth events, everyone always had fun, especially on those retreats we went on. 
Those were the good old days. Easter time was really my favorite growing up because we had the Easter lock-in. Sister Teal would come in at 8 o'clock in the morning on the last day saying good morning while ring a bell to wake us up. We also had Easter play and sometimes I would get lucky and Easter would fall on my birthday. As I got older, being a Christian opened my eyes to the life of a Christian. I am understanding more and who I am becoming. I got closer to God. I got closer with God last year, the night before my 17th birthday. A friend and I got into a bad car accident, and we, we, we were safe with no major injuries, just soreness. We were very blessed because you never know what could happen in those type of situations. I found out later that week that our sister and friend, Isabel, had died the same week because of a car accident. This is when, when it really hit me when I found out it had me thinking that was a sign from God he was trying to tell me something. Did I need to come closer with him or not take life for granted? That could have been me. I was very blessed. I also took the situation as a lesson, and I understood that God is not only there for me when I need him, but he's there for everything. And I should always feel comfortable to go to him at any time. Being a Christian, to me, is about being yourself and your true self. To understand that you are not perfect, but you can continue to work on yourself to thrive to be perfect. And in the Bible, Romans chapter 12, verse two, it says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed for the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God and what is good and acceptable and perfect. It also means do not copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. My mom always told me, your mind is your most powerful tool. And being a Christian and being a member of Ben Washington Baptist Church is what shaped who I am today. If it weren't for my family always being there for me and supporting me, I would not be here today. I would like to thank my Ben Washington family because they've all taught me something. The love and support I received all these years is just amazing. BWBC is not only a church, it's a community. It is the family who has been a part of raising me and showing me how important it is for the people to always have each other's back. Thank you. I am Jalen Williams, 2020 graduate. Julian Young, graduating from James Bowie High School in Arlington, Texas. His school involvement, multiple first place winner, animation, regional and state TSA, that's Technical Student Association. Multiple first place winner, video production and regional and state TSA. Third place winner, Animation National TSA. Created the first James Bowie High School logo for the eSports Club. Varsity for high school football. He was a defensive end. Created the 2020 class introductory video for CTC Building. He created his first song in the CTC Building. Helped create the first sponsored eSports Club in the entirety of the AISD. His future goals. He plans to be a successful graphic designer and film director. Southwestern Adventist University. Major in communications and minor in business. Although this coronavirus has hindered my way into dream school, it was not going to stop me from going to college. His involvement at BWBC, the youth department, the choir, he was the loudest tenor, he says. Audio ministry, boys to men, community service. He also says, for years I have been involved in the BWBC experience. I have seen people come and go, made new friends and lifelong lessons. Also, most of the time I was being asked to move stuff around because of my strength, which is a compliment. My scholarship essay would be about how faith and Christianity shaped my life. Life was full of challenges, and some is unfair. Waking up late, breaking valuable things, or just trying to push yourself to the limit. Sometimes we feel depressed, or feel like you're giving up, instead of striving for more. That's what's make us human. We are delirious on what will happen in the future, but what makes us have faith is in who has our back which is Jesus Christ, or the Lord our Savior. I wouldn't have had the strength to continue without the help of my family, the church family, and the Lord. For I am the Lord, your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. Isaiah 41:13. The three things that are important to me and my family, respecting a word and leaving a legacy. As a result of my past, I keep these three crucial things at my forefront of my mind every day to help myself be successful. Working day and night to 
to improve my skills in being a successful graphic designer and film director, di film director requires a lot of dedication. This includes teamwork, which is vital to, for having a lot of faith in your team, which made me feel a little bit less stressed because it shows I have someone to depend on and I can depend on them. Our team prays every week well, before we have a meeting, before we film or animate, mostly because God is what makes us believe we can have a, we, God is what makes us believe we can improve our skills for our upcoming projects. All I could do through is, all, all, all can I, uh, all, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13. Although I didn't always have full faith in my word I was, as I was young, I was still underdeveloped and youthful. My church family at Ben Washington helped me, helped mold me into a shining image of religious hope and show me how powerful the word is. My youth teachers and members have seen me grow into a man of God, and I am proud that they have not given up on me, as I know the power of God flows within them also. I just want to say thank you for giving me a wonderful childhood and important life lessons, especially to pastor, deacons, and deaconesses of the church as they help mold the church into a tranquil environment. Let the peace of Christ rule your, in your hearts, since as members of one's body, you were called to peace and to be thankful. Uh, Colossians 4:2. There are so many great, uh, there are so many great possibilities, and opportunities, and in, in college life for me, which would make me a, a fit candidate for a scholarship offered. Nothing can make me more happier than if I if I could simply have the chance to go to college and better and better myself and my family. May God Himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit and soul and body keep blameless, blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Thessalonians 5.23. Thank you for your time. Ladies and gentlemen, these are our three graduates. We are so proud of you.